Like, like he's something coming? Did he defuse that? Yeah. I can't jump. Wait, wait, Look wait, at a great shot here go, go, by go, go, Top go, go, Gun. If you, if Boom. I, and I there it is. Great Nailed. shot there, but man, freaking, they, they messed up on that. He defused the bomb. He he went, he went shot all of his bullets in his AK. Yeah. Right. Our bullets had such a pistol, shot him in the head, but didn't kill him with the first bullet. Had to shoot a second, and they were able to defuse the bomb before You're right. he died. And that is a good reason to always make sure you check your clip before you go into a fight. He obviously was only left with, you know, 9, 10 bullets, and uh, you see what happened there. If he would have had a full clip, that would have been game over. Berlin would have easily had that round. Let's go back to it. It's now one to four in the second half. Overall score is uh, 23 to 12. As we know, Berlin will be moving on, but let's see what uh, they will do on this attack. Mike opens things up with a kill on Sponge. Here's the rest of the Berlin team waiting in this holding area for the call from their strat caller, who happens to be Fifth Warren. And he is going to call his team into the appropriate bomb site. Looks like they'll make it in very, very nicely. Smoke pops down as well. Bomb will go down very quickly. Blaze takes out Hux. And now they will get the upper and the lower advantage here in this bomb site. Boomser will tag one. That was Blaze as he enters into this bomb site. He's going to wait outside before he actually goes in. And Boomser is the last man standing. He's got a silenced M4. And there you see his first person view. Takes a fire from the top, and it was Zershin with the kill. Come on, take the rest. Check out Olander's work here. Nice work from the canopy, but it was actually Zershin who got the kill from the back. Olander just setting it up. 13 and basically they're setting a three-way crossfire there, you know. They're not trying to attack him or anything. They're going to let him come to him because they got the man advantage, and he has to also defuse the bomb, so really no chance for uh, Sydney there. That also makes the score eight to seven in this Counter-Strike match. Overall matchup, 24 to 12. No way for Sydney to come back, so we already have our first team advancing to the semifinals, and up next, Fatality, the Dallas Venom versus the San Francisco Omnic. Oh my goodness, double frag grenade there on Top Gun. Olander fires his death. And they are now up a man. Berlin with five, Sydney down to four. Zershin will get another frag, takes Sydney down to three members. And here's Berlin getting ready to assault from the back. They're also bringing in a couple from the ramp. Blaze will take out Tags, and they will have an easy, easy access into this A bomb site here. There could possibly be one more Sydney underground player from the long area trying to pick off these members. But it is going to be Olander who takes out us. That means one left standing. Mike takes him out and a perfect round for Berlin. Take him out now, come on. Yeah, great job by Berlin right here. They sniffed out Top Gun, knew he was there. They had a feeling he was there, so they actually timed a grenade. Two grenades at the same time, right on top of his head. That was beautiful. And you know, sometimes that first grenade won't do full damage to get the kill. And that's probably why they, they threw all, two. You always throw uh, two nades. So if they ever sniff out, there's some people coming this way, usually they try to do throw two nades at the same time because when you get hit by one, you're already retreating because like, man, if I get hit one more time, I'm going to die. So. The team will always throw two grenades at the same time if they know where you are. Nice little strategy if you play Counter-Strike yourself. Start picking that one up. Five versus five here in the seventh round. We've got two rounds left to go. We're tied eight to eight. Boomser will get the first kill on Zershit, but Blaze answers back, drops Tex. Here's Mike on the outside of the beat. He'll get a lucky shot as he takes out Hux from the back. Sponge doing some damage on the inside, but it's Fifth Lauren from the outside who will take him down, making it a two versus three. And now Sydney must attack from the outside of this bomb site. Fifth Lauren will get that upper aerial advantage there on their opponents. But it looks like Cindy has the same idea. Mike and Fifth Lauren get the kill at the same moment and pick up another round to make it eight to eight, nine to eight. Let's play defensive, guys. Let's do this. Let's everybody make the shot. Come on, guys. I gotta get, I gotta get in that door, in, man. I'm hiding like, like, huh. Berlin's on match point now. If they win this round, they will win the Counter Strike uh, matchup. But if Sydney wins this, we will go into overtime, and You're then right. that will be a one-round pistol round. 
They'll be going at it with you know flashbangs, grenades, and so point forth, and only pistols. Another point to point uh, to, to point out is is that if uh, the Berlin Alliance picks this up, they will have swept every game here in this matchup, and it doesn't happen very often in the CGS arena, especially in the World Final. Let's go to the final round here, nine to eight. Sponge at Top Gun, both eliminating those early early uh, Berlin players who went through the lower tunnels, and that was a great start for Sydney here. Could actually fire up and set up the potential for an overtime round, but uh, we won't call it close quite yet. Here's Fifth Warren in those tunnels, and uh, he may meet up with another member. Top Gun's gonna get another one down in those tunnels, and that patience really paid off yeah, down there. Fifth Lauren actually was running there. He actually made a footstep. That's why Top Gun knew to come out. He heard him coming and was able to pre-fire that shot almost. So Sydney, oh, another great. That was an off grenade combo there by Zershity. He threw the grenade and finished up with the off shot. Top Gun got a kill on Olander and now it is Top or Zershit versus the rest of the underground. And Sydney just tied it up. Come on, let's do it. Well, typically in counter like stores, no one ever practices yeah, pistol rounds. So this will be very screen, interesting how this works out. Look at my screen, right? Right. You know, also, up, we up, saw right? BSL earlier, the GM for Berlin said that they were going to end in style. Overtime must be style. Yeah, that, would, that would be style, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> you see the nerves uh, that BSL was talking about earlier. Usually I, I w usually I would benefit the CT on this kind of situation. I think, you know, with them having the, you know, the flash grenades and, and uh, grenades and so forth, if they can at all know where one or, you know, two or more guys are at, they're going to nade that trick they did earlier, like right. Lander. Two more grenades yeah, okay. on their head, but this is for pride. Yeah, this is for pride and nothing more fatality. Looking down, uh, looking down the barrel, we also know that an exciting matchup coming up next. It's the Dallas Venom versus the San Francisco Optics. One of those teams will move on to it, uh, to, will advance and go to play the Berlin Alliance, who we also know is advancing. And of course, the other team will have to go home. They're 26 to 13. The overall score in this matchup, many, many fans and uh, people alike thought that this was going to be a close game, but Berlin Alliance definitely came to shut this team down. I thought it was going to be close too, but did. man, Leafy did an amazing job winning 5 1, and then the rest of their team just kind of fell together with their, obviously, their Forge Motorsports winning 5 2 right. is huge as well. Right. It looks like we are ready for this closing round. Who will win it? Will it be Berlin or will it be Sydney? Well, keep in mind also that this is a pistol round. So uh, instead of giving the players full money to buy weapons, they actually give them nothing. And it all comes down to those raw pistol skills to end the matchup. Berlin is on the CT side while Sydney is going to be the terrorist. Both teams picking up a frack. Zersha with two. Tegs will get another one. That will make it three versus three. But both teams know exactly where the action is at. Sponge getting another one. And there is not too much left to do. Sydney could bring this one home. They just need to eliminate two more members. Boomer will take out Blade. That leaves one more left. And it looks like Sponge is going to go after him. Don't forget, there is also a clock that they've got to go up against. 32 seconds left. Here's Mike. He's the last man standing for Berlin. Can he bring this home? And can they sweep the entire game lineup here in this world final matchup? Well, Mike is going to take a route around. The bomb is down. And there you see his first person and third person perspective here. This is going to be an amazing play if Mike can actually pull this one down. But Sydney does have the advantage. Mike now going in. Sponge is going to get him. And Sydney redeems themselves with a win in Counter Strike. But fatality. The night belongs to the Berlin Alliance. They are our first team moving on to the semifinals in the CGS World Final. Let's take a look at the Mountain Dew.